So here is the big mural that's right in front of the White House. And one of the people who created this beautiful mural, Free Bradley Manning, is Ty Berry. Hello. So Ty, what what you doing here today? What's happening? Well, we were in front of uh, Fort Meade all day long since 7 o'clock this morning to attend the uh, hearing for Bradley Manning at Fort Meade. And uh, we decided we should be in front of the White House because this is the man that can, can uh, stop this whole thing from happening, this whole circus. It was funny how they were bringing in circus toys into the uh, Fort Meade at the same time. I don't think it was intentional, but it, it reminded me of a, the, what a circus this, uh, this hearing has become. It's, it's not become about the truth, but it's become about uh, rhetoric and media hype and this president's uh, secrecy program. So you and the others came to stand in front of the White House to bring the message here to the people who are learning about Bradley Manning, many of them for the first time. Right, exactly. Unfortunately, our media has been absent, has been, uh, va uh, you know, just very absent in reporting on what the, the, the scene is with Bradley Manning. Bradley Manning has spent three years now, we know he was tortured, three years in jail, all of it in solitary confinement. We know he was tortured. And it's time to bring this thing, make this over. This president can say time served and uh, give him his dishonorable discharge and let this thing, let this man get back to his life. Bradley Manning's trial started today after three years in prison. The first nine months of his imprisonment was in solitary confinement. Solitary confinement is torture. The government itself that proclaims it does not want to torture people has tortured Bradley Manning for speaking the truth by leaking class, uh, essentially unclassified information to WikiLeaks. With that, they put him in solitary confinement with 15 minute intervals of being constantly harassed to essentially make sure that he's not going to commit suicide. There was no intention of committing suicide. But he remained in jail in solitary confinement for the first nine months. Fast forward to three years later, the government has brought 22 counts against him, 10 of which he, he has at this point claimed being guilty towards. Bradley Manning has done a huge favor to this country and to the rest of the globe also. We owe him a debt of gratitude because he brought transparency, a transparency that a government that has for the past at least 10 to 15 years has become more and more secretive about what it's doing in many different programs. Whether it's the now understood drone, pro, drone warfare program that has basically inundated the Middle East with fear of being constantly bombarded, innocent civilians being killed by the thousands that the American public does not understand and know about because of the secrecy in this government. So again, Bradley Manning is someone that should be revered, should be looked into as far as studying and understand what he did, why he did it, and again, the favor that he has done by doing what he did, possibly facing a life sentence in jail for releasing information that the American government should have been telling the American people all along. I'm Sergey Kostin, and uh, we decided to bring this mural out in front of the White House to bring a message to President Obama with regard to Bradley Manning. His trial starts today, um, and uh, it, yet it, it remains to be seen what's going to happen, obviously. Um, but the more support and attention that we bring to the plight of Bradley Manning for the great that he, the, for the great deed that he did, not only for the American public, but for the globe at large, the citizens at large, um, from the uh, release of information about the former Tunisian dictator um, that was a part that played in the Tunisian uprising um, and its, uh, and its uh, revolution thereafter, um, which was a good thing. Um, the many other cable leaks with regard to uh, uh, the different embassies around the world, um, it's in Egypt, what was happening with the misappropriation of money there also. Um, the, the idea that Bradley Manning um, has released information 
um, to literally the citizens of the world um, to bring discussion, inform information, to spark discussion, um, to have dialogue so that the people can start really understanding what the United States is involved in um, in many uh, many of the different situations with a lot of governments around the world. Um, he did truly a, a huge favor to us, and, and we owe him a debt of gratitude. Um, and that debt of gratitude uh, uh, is, is uh, by coming out, supporting him, um, bringing pressure on our own government um, to really uh, do the right thing by Bradley Manning and setting him free. This violates our Constitution, and our Constitution was not written for only American citizens. It was written for the world. And we want our Constitution adapt, adopted in most countries. That's what our governments have been trying to do since World War II. I think it's time that our government starts following its own treaties that it signed, such as the Geneva Convention, and other treaties that have prescribed what human rights are, the Human Rights Declaration of the UN, we need to start reading, rereading these things. We need to start rereading reading our Bill of Rights and see if they're maybe antiquated. Because that's what our government is telling us, that the Bill of Rights no longer is necessary. We should give up on the freedom of privacy, the protection against search and seizure, freedom of the press. Those are just antiquated laws or antiquated amendments to our Constitution, formerly called the Bill of Rights. What's taking place, I think, in Bradley Manning's case, is a violation of a, a very ancient and one uh, very ancient uh, document and one that our Constitution was built on, the Magna Carta. It prescribed that people had to have a speedy trial. You can't just withhold somebody forever. It's taken the government three years, and today they started the trial on Bradley Manning. Three years. Nine months in solitary confinement. Was kept for over a month in his underwear. Was denied access to uh, space to exercise in. Has been constantly watched. Been woken up all hours of the night. It's time for our government to tell us the truth. What's going on? You're going to see a trial now. You're going to be hearing about it for many days, this trial of Bradley Manning. And you're going to hear about, oh, we can't tell you that part. That part's secret. This part's secret. What's secret? What's the secret? Bradley Manning supposedly revealed the secrets. So if he revealed the secrets, what could be secret? And then the government is going to tell you in newscasts that Bradley Manning has endangered people. Can you show me one? Can you point to one example? Because in the last three years, we've been asking, many organizations have been asking, show us the proof, Mr. President, show us the proof, uh, Department of Defense. What is the proof that Bradley Manning endangered anyone? Bradley Manning has never admitted guilt to endangering anyone. And no one can produce a document, a single document, that says that Bradley Manning endangered anyone. I am Alice Sutter, and I really needed to be here today because I'm so sad by the way Bradley has been treating Bradley Manning to me as one of our American heroes. He's a courageous young soldier and intelligence analyst, and he used his position to bring us the information about what happens in war in the hopes that we're going to do something about it now that we know he brought us some horrific information, watching helicopter people in a helicopter shooting down people and laughing and joking and saying, well, what do they bring their kids to a war zone for while well, they shoot down on a, at a family, shooting down Reuters reporters. And this apparently is just what happens normally in war, but we don't know about it, but our tax dollars pay for it.
course of this young man Bradley came Manning to bring us this information and we owe him the Bradley we owe this young man and instead he's being used network. as an example you, and he's been tortured in prison he may be put away forever and we're very very concerned about this so this is our song for Bradley Manning and we do set satirical songs so this is to Turkey in the Straw so come sing along because they don't like to do solos Bradley Manning faced the horror of the Iraq war He's in jail for showing us what we are paying for. Nine months in solitary, held with greatest cruelty. If he exposed U.S. war crimes, we say, set him free. We've got to stop them. Where are our rights? Got to stop sleeping, stand up and fight. Are we really at our best? With our best and bravest sitting on the terrorist list. When the ones who tell the truth are the ones who sit in jail. We don't have democracy. It seems our systems fail. We gotta fight with all our might together, you and me. Let us thank Bradley Manning. Let us set him free. We've gotta stop them. Where are our rights? Gotta stop sleeping. Stand up and fight. Raise your voices. Make a fuss. Because Bradley Mining speaks for all of us.